uh, in this uh, uh, experiment, uh, before conducting an experiment, I will explain uh, what is RFID RC522 module with its tags. This is RFID RC522 module and these two are uh, tags and this is a pin strip which is used to connect this RFID reader to the node MCU ESP8266. So the description of this RFID RC522 is, uh, it is 13.5 megahertz RFID reader, read and write module, and it can be used for almost all kinds of 13.5 megahertz passive ID cards and tags. Okay, so the frequency is 13.56 megahertz. And it uses SPI uh, uh, communication protocol that is serial uh, synchronous peripheral interface. And this SPI, uh, it is synchronous serial communication protocol and the full form of SPI is serial peripheral interface. And the, the two tags are available in different colors, one in white color and another one is a, another one is blue in color. Okay, then how to do the connection and what is the uh, range? So the card reading distance is 0 to 50 millimeter. Okay, then the communication mode is SPI and the data communication speed is uh, 10 megabits per second. These are, these are the specifications of uh, uh, RFID RS522 module. So frequency is 13 point and the uh, uh, working voltage is 3.3 volts. Voltage is 3.3 volts, frequency is 13.5 megahertz, distance is 0 to 50 millimeter and uh, communication mode is SPI and maximum data rate is 10 megabits per second. Okay, then how to do the connection? So here I have written uh, the RS522 SDA pin is connected to node MCU D2 pin. RS522 SCK pin, it is connected to D5 pin of node MCU. Uh, master out serial in MOSI pin, it is connected to D7. Master in slave out, it is connected to D6. IRQ interrupt request, it is not used. Uh, you uh, leave that uh, connection. Then ground pin of RS522 is connected to ground pin of node MCU. RST pin of uh, 522 is connected to D1 pin of node MCU. And 3.3 volts of RS522, it is connected to 3.3 volts of node MCU. So uh, this is the connection. You, you should do the connection like this only. Then only you, will, you can read the and uh, you, uh, you can uh, get the ID number of the tags. So here I'll explain how to um, get the ID number of the uh, tag using the uh, using pro program. Okay, so be before let me give some introduction about uh, RS522. Uh, RS uh, RC522 model, it is commonly used RFID model. So it is widely used in applications like uh, electronic clocks and uh, attendance system we will use it so rfid reader this is reader the so what i am showing is uh, reader so it serves as a reader or writer uh, it is uh, capable of sending out radio signals uh, at specific frequency uh, to communicate with the, these two tags so these tags can be passive tags uh, passive means powered by the reader signal. So this will get power from the reader and or active. Active means with their own power source. So the reader has got antenna. See the C, uh, symbol of antenna here. The module includes integrated antenna. Uh, it is used to transmit and receive the radio signals. And uh, the antenna size and design uh, these two are optimized for a RFID communication at a operating frequency of the module. Okay, the frequency just now I explained, it operates at 13.5 megahertz. So this is a high frequency RFID range. And it is a common frequency band for RFID communication. 
and uh, uh, it uses SPI interface. Uh, RFI uh, RC522 module communicates with uh, Node MCU. This is connected to Node MCU. See here, these are the pins. So, with the help of this strip of pins, we connect the RFID reader to the <coughs> Node MCU. So, the R RC522 module communicates with Node MCU or uh, Arduino board using this SPI protocol. So, which is the protocol used for RFID? Uh, module SPI protocol, serial peripheral interface protocol. So RS522 uh, model can both read data uh, from and write data to the RFID tags. Okay. So this makes it suitable for applications where you want to store the data or where you want to retrieve the information on RFID tag, such as your ID card, your access card or inventory tracking. So in, in these places, you can use the RFID reader and tags. So the tag which is white in color, this side I am showing. The tag which is white in color uh, uh, and uh, white in color, uh, the purpose is not uh, there for a color. It is not determined by its color. Um, but rather by its purpose and a programming. So these tags can be programmed to store specific information such as unique identifier, product details, access permissions, etc. Then uh, next one is blue color. It is like keychain. So the blue colored RFID tag in the shape of keychain or we uh, call it as key fob. So like uh, white RFID, uh, the functionality of a blue keychain shaped tag is determined by its internal RFID technology and the data it can store. So again, it is used for convenience and portability. That's, that's the reason it is in this shape. And these are designed to attach to the, uh, uh, attach to make them easy to carry around. So we can easily carry this. Uh, that's why it is made in this shape. These tags are commonly used in access control systems where individuals can use them as an electronic key to gain entry into the buildings, uh, for entry into the room or uh, vehicles, etc. So the blue color shape make them easy to identify and use a personal access device. Okay, that is the reason uh, these, uh, this is in keychain shape and this is in a rectangular shape. Okay, now I'll explain uh, how to read the ID number of this tag and ID number of this tag and uh, uh, what program we should write to read the um, identification number of the tags. Uh, this is a program to uh, read uh, the RFID, uh, RFID tag ID number. Okay, uh, I'll... Uh, uh, give the code of this uh, program uh, in the description box. So you can copy it and uh, uh, paste it in your uh, Arduino ID software and you can check the um, ID number of your tags. Okay, the first two, two lines, hash include spi.h and hash include uh, mfrc522.h. So uh, you, after execution, if, if you get the error like uh, no um, uh, library file found, then you have to go here, uh, sketch, go sketch, uh, include library and manage library. So you here you type M, MRF, M, F, R, C, 522. So uh, you will get like this. Uh, so you have to install this. See, I have already installed MFRC 522 by GitHub community. community. So the library files you should in, uh, install or include uh, before executing the program. Okay. Uh, then uh, these two are the library files. These two lines include the necessary library file for uh, MFRC 522 RFID reader and uh, SPI communication. For SPI communication, SPI.h and for um, uh, <coughs> MF 
RC522 reader. This is the header file. Next two lines, these two lines. So these lines defines the pin numbers for reset and SS means slave pin, <coughs> slave select or SDA, serial data. Serial data pin, SS pin means serial data pin used to communicate with RFID reader. You should connect these two pins to the uh, D1 and D2 pins of your node MCU. Okay. Next one is this line. So here you have, uh, you create an instance of MFRC522 RFID reader library and specify SS underscore pin and RST underscore pin as parameters. So this instance will be used to interact with RFID reader. Next. In wide setup, from here to here, uh, in wide setup, serial.begin115200 initializes serial communication at the baud rate of 115200, which allows you to communicate with and monitor your node MCU and ESP8266 board via the serial monitor in your Arduino ID. Next, SPI.begin. Uh, this initializes serial peripheral interface bus. RFID reader communicates with node MCU via this SPI. Next, RFID.pcd underscore init. It initializes MFRC522 RFID card reader. It prepares the reader for communication and uh, is an essential step to use RFID reader. Next is print ln. Place your RFID tag near the reader. This information we will get on the <coughs> serial monitor. So it sends the message to the serial monitor instructing the user to place RFID tag near the reader. We should hold our RFID tag very near to the uh, reader. So to, for that purpose, we will send this message to the uh, serial uh, monitor. Okay. Uh, next is wide loop. In wide loop, <clears throat> these many instructions we are using. In wide loop, uh, RFID dot PLCC, uh, sorry, PICC underscore is new card present. It checks a new RFID card is present near the reader. Like that, it will check. And RFID PICC dot read card serial reads the cards UID <laughs> reads the cards UID unique identifier and stores it in RFID UID structure. So it reads the RFID number. The subsequent code process the UID that is unique identifier. It prints UID unique identifier. Uh, in hexadecimal format to the serial monitor. We will get the ID number in the form of hexadecimal. Okay. And it constructs the contained string by concatenating the UID bytes. So string content we will get. Next, it converts the content string to uppercase. So we will convert all the uh, numbers what we get uh, to the uppercase. Okay. Then it checks the content of the string matches the predefined RFID tag UID places your tag uh, your tag or UID here with the actual UID you want to authorize. If match is found it prints the authorization is accessed. You can replace with your desired action. Now choose the correct port and uh, port I have connected to a COM3 and uh, select the board. And now I will upload the program. Okay, so here you click on the upload button. So it will compile and uh, upload the program to your node MCU to identify the ID number of your tag.
now the program is uploading to the node mcu the successful uploading over i'll open the serial monitor once i'll press the reset button of node mcu now it is asking us uh, place your rfid tag near the reader so it is sending the message now i will hold the rfid tag near the reader now it is giving a uid number and that is 2357868a9 okay and uh, i'll hold another one i have got one more i'll hold this so it is giving me another id number that is e3 e8 18 a6 so in this way uh, if, if you have multiple um, rfid tags first before doing the experiment you should know the id number of each tag and you can uh, save it in copy this id number and save it in some notepad or in a word file Uh, here is the connection between uh, RFID uh, reader and uh, node MCU and these two are RFID tags. This is uh, in keychain key shape and this is like a card, white color card, nothing is there on this. So how to do the connection I have just now explained and these are the uh, some pins, strip of pins they have given in order to connect to the reader to the node mcu okay so as i explained you do the connection between node mcu and a reader and when you tap your um, tag near the reader so you will get the id number displayed on the monitor and this is also just hold like this very near to the rfid reader and you will get the uh, ID number of both the tags.